Okay, here we are back in Game of Thrones Legends, where I've just noticed that the graphics, the resolution, sort of cleans, cleans up and gets better as the game plays. It starts all blurry and shit, and then it ends up like this. I think this is the best state I've seen it. But the video is not about that. It's a very random video, just to look at the actual gameplay. Like, what... Could you be missing if this is your first puzzle RPG? Like you saw, ooh, Game of Thrones, let's try that. But you haven't played Empires and Puzzles, Myth Wars, uh, Mists of Avalon, or whatever that one was called, and you don't know what the fuck's going on, right? So let's see if I can actually get the things that I want to show you in this video. So very... The basics, but there's some stuff that's not exceptionally basic. Let's see. They can live in my new world, or they can die in their old one. Yes, they can die in the old one. Right. So it does very clearly show that blue should go to red. What does that mean? Is it blue is damaging to red. Red is damaging to green. Green is damaging to blue. Right? And then back and forth with... Gold and violet, as they call it in this game. The thing is, I haven't noticed violet actually be weak on violet. It's just not strong, if that makes sense. But, and again, th this is not, I'm not 100% sure about it, but like empires and puzzles, when you hit an enemy, like right there, boom, they would normally have a very sudden increase in stamina. But that was random, you know, I hit both of them, and they're the same enemy, so I don't think I'll prove my point here, but I feel like the, it's turn-based, if you're really slow, slow stamina speed means it'll take like five or six turns to actually build up your stamina, uh, the enemies, and if you're very fast, it's less than that, duh. So let's see if these trigger at the same time, they'll prove that point. So yes, red is strong against green, yes. Blue is weak against green. Yes, that's nice. That was clear. Uh, a red skill. I think it's... Wait. Yeah, stamina speed's fast. That's what I was talking about. But it's different for you, your team. You, you, you speed up according to how many tiles you make. Red is strong against green. So it'll damage the green more than the blue. Duh. Okay. But it's important if somehow you don't know that because you've never played this kind of game. Purple's the average on everything else. Okay. By the way, Daenerys is ca causing... Oh, sorry. Rhaenyra is causing this. Enemies, you have a buff removal, blah, blah, blah. No. Are they here? Triggering a power-up. So there's various ways that, uh, we're not talking about Renera, but she makes some of these power-ups just pop up. And they're pretty powerful. Like if I click on the one I want to target, red, that's pretty massive damage. So if I want to hit with this and actually make the combo, hitting green would be kind of a waste of the damage. Go blue. So it's like a neutral attack, but that was critical, so it was a lot. Okay, let's take the focus off everybody else with Ned's taunt. Also, try not talk about this team in particular, but having two heroes that taunt is amazing. So, if one of them is fucked, taunt with the other one, leave the skill, heal accordingly. It's lovely. Get I'm Grey Woman. woman. My dreams come true. Yes, you mentioned something about that. Uh, what else? Okay, let's go because I want to there's something specific that I want to do, but I like I uh, had a feeling it was Going to be difficult to make it happen, but let's try anyway Okay making us You can stop now making a square of tiles creates one of those bombs which some of the games, Empires and Puzzles, Myth Wars, they definitely didn't have the square as a feature. There's another one, but it's pointless because it's purple and I have no purple 
heroes. Which could be annoying, knowing that purple's going to do basically no damage. See? But I actually prefer missing one type and having two, because with two heroes off gold, it does double damage. It's hard to see, but it's approximately double damage having two of the same color. Okay, but let's check out the big heel. And she looks so weird there. Yeah, like 6,000. I love that. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's make... Yes, you can make a bomb with a T shape or an L shape. But I want to... Will this make a horizontal power-up and one of those bombs? So this is a square and a line of four vertically. No. So it doesn't do that. <laughs> But now I've got to try and get another horizontal or vertical power up to show you what I'm trying to demonstrate here. That's not going to be easy. Wait, no. Let's just get this out of the way. Let's see. No. If I clear that green, maybe. Just avoiding doing damage. Uh, if I could get that red, there would be one here. Uh, this maybe could work. I just got to do all this nonsense, but keep everyone alive. Right, here we go. That's could work, but how do I... I can't clear that. Uh, let's see. This... Mm, no. Clear all that shit. No. Let's try that. You're doing this on purpose is just stupid. It's oh, wait, this could work. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, this is a shitty example, but I'll kind of prove a point here. Actually, I won't. But uh, hor a vertical power up hitting another vertical power-up is what I wanted to show it will have the same effect as a horizontal so let's say this was a vertical power-up I just heal and you hit a vertical power-up with another vertical power-up it will do a horizontal clear just like that this is a cool chain it just makes everything slow Yes, and a, a five in a row will create a power bomb. I don't know if it's called that, but close enough. Okay, let's just use all this. You wish to be restored as I. You need to kill me. Kill you? Why not? Someone's gonna kill you. Power up blows up all of the same color. And hopefully you're not so unlucky that it doesn't create a further massive combo that's the main benefit of the blow up all the same color power-ups that should create a nice chain all right that wasn't perfect but some basic explanation there i'm gonna leave now